Flaming sphere. I don't want to set the world. No, that's on Pathfinder. Fire. No, that's God damn it. But I, I totes did. Just want to stop. It's all on fire. Okay, there we go. Flaming sphere. All right, I'm gonna read this. Uh, let's see. So, a five foot diameter sphere of fire that appears. Any creature that ends its turn within five oh, feet. Oh, you're his flame sphere. Yeah. Oh, did I ever tell the story about how I met one of the ink spots? Rain of fire. He was old. Ring of fire. Uh, yeah. He was very old, and he smoked a lot of weed. <laughs> uh -oh. He was awesome. So this is somewhere between flaming sphere and spike growth, where oh, moving gosh. through it is going to hurt real bad, and being in it is going to hurt real bad. Uh, effectively, oh. this hurts. This fight just <laughs> really had every damn twist in it you can well, imagine. Well, it's my turn, right? Uh, well, yes. we gotta find our damage first. Okay, there we go. So, you take... You take 10 damage. Now it's your, uh, now what do you do? 10 damage? Yep. Just, just for starting in it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! You take 10 damage for starters. <laughs> Fight was too easy. Dimitri turned on hard mode. Jesus, yeah. I, it's like we kind of fixed the fight and then we really unfixed it. Okay, well, it's my turn, right? Yes. So Every I'm... square except the one I'm standing in causes damage. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this line here is going to be my wall of water. Okay. Unfortunately, I think it's a concentration, so the dude is not going to be a cockroach yes. anymore. And I am going to... Dive into oh. it and use my sp swimming speed to zip out of here. Psh. In into yep. the spikes? Uh, uh, it's the only place I can go to, unfortunately. I mean, you can put the wall of water diagonally. It doesn't have to be. You could have wall of yeah. watered into the wall cr water creature and hid inside of it. Yeah. Uh, that, that does make sense. You okay. can hide in, yeah, you can hide inside I of just a water thought, source. I just thought I, I, I didn't know you could do things diagonally. I, <laughs> What kind of weird universe does Alarin live in? <laughs> Star Wars exists and everything only I'm a rook, works. Okay. Oh she's my a rook. god, yeah. she's the protagonist of Fez. <laughs> <laughs> everything only exists in two dimen uh, two dimensions, X and Y. <laughs> X and Y together? Well, no. The thing is, no, can't do. Looking at Wall of Water, it says a line or yeah. a uh, okay. Yeah. What Fine. part of it does it does Shoosh. it say that it has I'll to swim be out. You can okay. play D&D without a grid. Yeah, I yeah. could turn off the grid right now. That'd be a giant pain in the ass, but I could. Um, anyway, so you managed to make it out without hurting yourself terribly. And I are you keeping it up? Like, what's going on? Like, I, Oh, I have to keep it up if it's a concentration. Okay, how long does it last? It lasts for 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. So as long as the butterflies do. Come on, guys. Swim out. And Kahuna's just going to be like, blub. Yeah. So, Tres and Alarin, you guys are engulfed in Kahuna, probably. Uh, well, as he tries to uh, ride the line between fire and spikes. Well, Dres can, Dres can hold his breath for 15 minutes, and I'm aquatic, yep. so All right. that's not so bad. Um, let's see. Greg, it's your turn. You take... Six damage from being on fire. There's a giant wall of water directly next to you. <laughs> uh, huh. How 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 fast does the wall of water move, or should I just dive right into it? It's it's not moving. It's stagnant. It's, it's, it's just, just okay. like bubbling up from the bottom. It, I don't know. Yeah, there's kind of like a. It's like a waterfall. It is actually huh. shrinking. Like it is time for a the, swim. It's getting evaporated. Yeah, off, it's mean? getting it's getting evaporated. Okay, uh, you take three damage for landing on spikes, but you're not in fire oh. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That was uh. exceptionally low rolls. <laughs> All right. Skitter is going to do the same thing and land on Greg. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the Skitter has a stamp card turn. at this point where the tenth, la tenth landing on Greg is free. <laughs> I, Drez if, is if, overcome if, by an overwhelming desire to go through this door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Due to squishy bodies and fire ocean and spike area that I technically control and a weird wall of water and screaming. Oh God, dude. And butterfree noise looping. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if you want to let him just somehow understand, I don't know, accidentally use boots. <laughs> okay. Uh, because he doesn't know they work, so it's literally right. like... So he which direction, on which direction is, is Drez willing himself? The door. <laughs> okay. The door. Straight through the door. Let me... Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Drez accidental blind teleport. You blind you teleport. Uh oh. Learn... Yeah, don't end up in a wall. He learns Into all of his powers on pit. accident. <laughs> Filled with <laughs> mind flares that are screaming. <laughs> That's another room. <laughs> <laughs> it's a oh, big this... room. It looks like it might have once been used for training. Uh, it had oh, like a little arena boy. in the center, oh. and currently the arena is the only thing that's keeping the mind flares from getting out. Am I just oh, like so Luke and laying up. on like this ledge above the cliff? You are. You need to make a dexterity save to prevent yourself <laughs> from falling in because you you spawn more or less right. I measured it. It's like thirty feet. And he's like right on the edge. You fall in. Ah! Oh, nice. <laughs> right now would be a great time to use your dragon form. Okay, but yes. So there's there's here. I'll I'll reveal the full full room. Drez has never and might ne and might never use dragon form on purpose, or even know that he can do it or how. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. He cannot. He cannot dragon really? form. Really? That's the RNG I got. <laughs> yeah. Well, you <laughs> said through the door, and I'm like, yep. Yeah, I was just like blown away because I thought I thought that like this was like a second room, and I somehow went past nope. it into the next room, but it's just nope. a no, giant room, and I landed up. No, it's it's a giant training room. There's training dummies. There's like. Kind of fake swords, real swords, bunches of stuff. I just didn't Boy. want to draw it all, so it's nicely it's a, done. I it, mean, it's not it's not screaming and on fire. Well, it is well, screaming. It's just it's screaming, not, yeah. But it's not a flying ocean of burning things. <laughs> okay. It's just madness itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have a bunch of mad flares. Uh, I should probably. I don't know what their dexterity is you know i'm gonna quickly go find where mine play which is. check should oh, i do so for it, uh, whether or not oh he's gone now isn't he it turns out that the guy i knew from the ink spots was just a touring musician the all the actual like main line singers for the ink spots are dead and have been for like 30 years okay mm. that's what i thought so what yeah. role should i do uh wander for even realizing what happened <laughs> Uh, you more or less land on top of one of these guys. You, <laughs> Ew. I, you have Give seen one of them on before, you. but they oh, look. Oh no! I mean a roll. I mean a roll for whether or not oh. I know how I got here. <laughs> uh, you can no. You can feel it. You 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 can feel it in your shoes, in your souls. <laughs> Are they jelly? Uh, uh, that you you have teleported for the first time in your life. There's a lot uh, of firsts in this hey, campaign for dress. We we have teleported plenty of times just no, not through no you guys you guys have gone through oh yeah well has drez ever used the black rod because you guys have mostly gone through portals uh, and stuff no he's been teleported uh, by people oh, but that's about it yeah he has been stuff. sucked through dimensional rifts and portals <laughs> and stuff i got never call mounted teleported. once and i went through a portal once yeah twice. well the call mount was uh was kind of you were already in a dimensional rift, so I don't even know what that counts as. Whereas this is like <laughs> same plane teleportation. It's slightly different. I got Doctor Who resurrected. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you still in the room, you hear screaming as the ogre takes a ton of damage. Yep. What's, what a coincidence. I hear screaming. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then he is going to try and leave. Let's see if he succeeds. He takes grand total of 27 damage. Question. <laughs> he, yep, all right. Yes? Uh, Somewhere a cockroach caught on fire, yes? Yeah, so you hear screaming from the other room and well, the, actually, door, when... uh, the door is thumping. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> he's back in ogre form because I had to break my see. concentration on he polymorph. He does not break the through water. the door. But you being directly next to the door, you notice it kind of like buckle as an ogre, a uh, flaming ogre tries very hard to get out of there. This well, is horrifying. Any information that was in that office is likely on fire, too. Shame. Anything on the bookshelf? Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. That so means that takes... makes uh that makes Dimitri a book burner. You actually <laughs> I uh, mean he is a religious fundamentalist. Yeah, Dimitri, make a uh make a uh perception check, by the way. Uh right. Yeah. All right. You hear something else it kind of sounds like it's splintering or cracking, maybe? But you're not really sure about that. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So what do you do? You are on fire. Though it's less dire as it would have been if you were still made out of full wood. There's still dead <laughs> in the water wall. This, w this would have been really, really bad for Dimitri before he oh, got yeah. upgraded. Yep. All right. I guess I'm going to... Do, do I even notice? Am the water wall? I able to, like... It's like, it's like touching you. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you can see it. All right, I'm gonna run through the diagonal wa water wall, I guess, and take uh probably Dress's spot at the yep. door. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So Alaren, you just saw Dress warp through the door. Oh no, Kahuna, you know what to do, Kahuna. So Kahuna... uh, sorry, yeah. He goes under the door. Yeah, Kahuna goes through the door. And he tries working with the mechanism on the opposite side. No, or the... Kahuna's not smart enough for that. Wait, he can't turn he a doorknob? He can't knob? turn doorknobs. <gasps> Aww. Doors are just mild obstacles for him. He's never needed to bother to learn how doorknobs work. Uh, nor does he have a high enough intelligence score to oh, wait, properly wait, understand Kahuna, come back. how turning anything Or actually, works. can you take this pebble from me? I put uh, my goggles just, like, on. He doesn't understand the concept of doorknobs. Okay, yeah, so no. he, he takes <laughs> up the pebble. Can you just try positioning it in your forehead? Okay. Yeah. So he goes through the door. Uh, roll a die 100. Oh, really? Yep. We have to see if he's smart enough to get the pebble through the door before it just gets left behind. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it does not. It bunks into the door and falls down as oh, he passes through it. Okay. Can't just slip the pebble under the door? She could, but that but, was her action. Yeah. Uh, we're still in initiative because you're in combat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. So, uh... Yeah. So It'll be a continuous combat round for like three episodes straight. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, pretty much. I, I'm gonna cut this session up into two episodes somehow. Uh, that way we have enough for this week, and that way we can have it. Short for whatever it's worth, this. this has been the most action-packed, like absurd combat we've ever. Had. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> I know. I like it's it. It's funny. Uh, Thank going goodness down. I have water spells. For goodness' sake. Okay, Greg, you have a skitter on your head and spikes under your feet. What do? Hunter's rear end. What are you talking about? I'm going to do a con save. Oh, shit. Yeah, spikes are gone. Oh, okay. So the spikes oh, nice. are no longer no longer there. I figured okay. what happened was sufficiently jarring enough that I should yeah, no. <laughs> save for concentration. I, I would have said teleporting for the first time, you would have had advantage. Teleporting in front of a mind flare, you got bigger fish to fry than keeping spikes. And spike then falling in a hole. <laughs> yes. Skip man. It's a natural nemesis. The door. I'm gonna put you down, let you do your thing. Got it. <laughs> but I'm gonna tip my thing first. Excuse me, Robo. And. <laughs> Urgh! All right, you err right through the door. Well, that's that's one way to do it. We're good, Somebody... Skitter Man. Okay. You noticed Skitter was planning on un uh, unlocking it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, so you guys bust into a room. That has, uh, like I described, it it was like a training arena, a training room for soldiers. There's practice dummies, weights, all sorts of stuff. Pretty much anything you, you would need to have your like elite fighting force uh, get buff. Except for the pit of mind flares that are screaming. 
Ah. Uh, in your mind, by the way. They're, they're not really... The noise that they're actually making is kind of more like a wet spitting noise. Yeah. Uh, but the... Uh, <laughs> but the... Uh, the... The screaming is most definitely inside your head. And it is their turn. Oh, they goody. are going to... Am I prone? <laughs> play the crap out of your mind is what uh, they're going to do. No. You were... Yeah, you are on your ass. All of us up here are you, you fell out on of your line ass. of sight from them probably, right? Okay, let me yeah, try Yeah, but we can think. hear a pit of things going... Yep, yep, <laughs> we can hear a pit of them. So God they... damn. The dragonborn dra uh, breath is so lame. <laughs> Doesn't it scale with level to some degree or no? Yeah, it's garbage. When you're when you're level six, it's three d six. Yeah, really that's really bad. That's when you're level bad. eleven, it's four d six. Oh, it's like what? What? It, D and D has never been good about making low level stuff scale well. It also only has a range of fifteen feet. That's <laughs> really cone. bad. It's like such a terrible ability. <laughs> Then again, that's probably okay. Admittedly, if you were like a fire dragon, I think it's a thirty foot line. Like, it's yeah, like, there's slightly slight differences. There are cones and lines for dragon. This pets. campaign also has the worst power creep of any campaign I've ever done. So, like, they probably it probably seems really really garbage in comparison. What you're to what saying you guys is, I need to do. swallow an upgrade orb. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh no! <laughs> don't, don't put an upgrade orb in your like All right. venom pouch. Uh, <laughs> that they'll transform into two dragons. <laughs> ah, okay. So they are more or less going to start. Uh, well, trying to suck your brains. This out. is this is like out of a a Japanese horror porn. What? I'm Again, not one, two, three. <laughs> that just what right. today is. <laughs> <sighs> Eldritch whores. So, um, you're trying to figure out if they hit or not. Yeah. Well, you're. They have a plus seven to hit. This is the problem. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Fred's about to get screwed. Um, I'm going to downgrade the damage just a little bit. Because <laughs> he would have gotten killed in one go. Uh, Here, I'm going to GM roll this and then I'll figure it out. Because, like, these were mind flayers. If these things were sane, you would have had problems. But they're not sane. Uh, but they're not. So I'm trying I to figure out. I think that when Wander was intending for us to enter this room, he did not envision us to throw ourselves into the pit. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe they should be surprised um, for a turn. <laughs> no. Surprising for me. <laughs> I mean, they're insane. The idea of surprise is... Actually, that is <laughs> kind of a... Well, no. I mean, effectively, they're feral. Like, what happens when you turn a Mind Flayer feral? Pretty much the only thing it can do is eat brains. Um, How much health do you have? 49. Less now. <laughs> okay. Um, you have five. <laughs> oh, As three mind flares more or less latch onto your head and start uh, digging away. Ew, that's so gross. Skitter is going to run into the room because he probably hears screaming. And he is not outnumbered here. He also has the height advantage. I'm sure oh, yeah, this will a, only a improve on Drez's battle. demeanor. <laughs> okay. Give me a moment. I gotta go check something. Let's see. Does Did Skitter pick up anything particularly useful? He did. So, 
you are hit by a rock. And then you feel yourself teleporting, and then you're somewhere else that you don't know where you are. <gasps> wow. It's not a rock. It's a it's a something. I don't know what the object is. He got taken into a pokeball. Yes, another smaller mind flare. <laughs> no, there. Uh, so you are probably present enough to realize that you're in a bag, uh, in like a interdimensional space or something filled with a lot of daggers. Oh my god, <laughs> he is a pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing I can hold my breath for fifteen minutes. <laughs> Yeah, so you're in there for a while, probably. Well, I don't think most Pokeballs have daggers in them. No. <laughs> uh, otherwise, Pokemon Skitter's probably not going to try and extricate you. <laughs> well, maybe? I don't know. Skitter's been buying things, and so I've actually been writing down what he's been buying. And so he has... He's the richest of us he, all, probably. Yeah, he, I wrote it down as a rock of adhesion, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But he can use it to grab things from far away and put it in his bag. But... I don't know what to do with it, so kidnap Drez. That was way worse than the butterflies. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, you you also would have to roll. I I guess actually, yeah, you have to roll this. Roll uh three in, int saves. Yeah. Uh, you are uh you more or less are like super stunned by psychic damage. Um. And then the mind flares are probably just going to, like, pile up underneath. They can't climb. They start suction cupping against the wall like Zoidberg. <laughs> if only. If there's su suction cups. I don't even... No, they don't have suction cups on their tentacles. Mind flares are like fake, fake uh, octopi. Uh, guys? Yeah. I got Drez in a bag, and if I move him, he dies. <laughs> you mean if you, move, if you move the bag or well i mean he's in my bag of daggers <gasps> um, he like opens um, it up and you see like drez like kind semi comatose in a fetal position in the bag and he's just there's like 30 knives in there and he's like yeah well can we get him out somehow i mean maybe or... we could heal him first please uh, uh well it's not my turn <laughs> no no combat's over Unless you guys go back into the pit, combat is over. We'll keep the turn order for the time being. Okay, so that other ogre isn't coming through the butterfly field. You hear, um, here, I'll, I'll resolve Actually, this. Actually, both ogres. I mean, there's the other one stuck in the office, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, there are two ogres. So you hear thumping and screaming. Uh, but... And thumping and screaming. And... Thumping and screaming. And <laughs> Did he try to open the door or something? And screaming. Get... So here's the thing. You're trying He's strength healing. Check. Wait, what? He uh, all of the ogres and goblins healed every round. So he is taking <laughs> damage, but then healing all of it back as he is internally on fire oh, and that's stuck in this room. Oh, 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 oh. oh damn. And so I am trying to roll until he breaks through the door. There he goes. So he finally gets through the door and he takes, uh, let's this, see. So this dude's in a Harlan Ellison novel. So he takes seven damage and then he takes. Nice reference. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. I, le I read the name because it's behind me. All right. Yeah, I guess we're not done with combat because the ogre you cockroachified stumbles out of the sphere of horror, uh, burnt and blackened with barely any health left, and he is screaming, and it, it looks terrible. He's been in there for a while. I mean, uh, if you know what Wolverine looked like uh, oh, from yeah. some of the times when he got set on fire, this is pretty much the same thing. Uh, like that time you got hit by a nuke, Jeez. showing through the skin. Yeah, so he—that's what you see. And uh, oh, what do you do, God. Dimitri? Uh, I look at my axe and decide. Um, well, it's good for the goose. It's good for the goose a second time. 
And All right. I also step over to him. Yeah, and you kill him. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, he's dead, I did it, it's fine. What about the other ogre? You don't see him. And there's a big old burning ball of horror behind you. <laughs> okay. Actually, uh, somewhere in this process, you also hear more screaming. <laughs> what? Is it higher pitched? Uh, no, it's in your brain. Oh, well, oh. yes. No, like it gets louder for a bit. And then really loud, and then it stops being loud. Huh. That's weird. So what are you guys going to do? There is still screaming in your brain. You have a, a catatonic dress in a bag and a pit full of uh, mind flares. Well, let's try to cure him up to some extent. Oh, wow. Harlan Ellison's still alive. He's 83 years old. Okay, that's an extra nine health for Drez with Cure Wounds. All right, Drez, you you uh, kind of break out of being catatonic. You're in a bag full of knives. <laughs> what do you do? You you can see Alarin, like, staring up at you through the... It's kind of like well, the moon, I have to but the moon is her him, face. Right? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, like, an Alaran arm is, like, rubbing your face. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever whatever Finger. body part is whole words. Ever heard so of I the went... Alice in Wonderland effect? Because you're suffering from it. <laughs> I have gone deep He's down so the rabbit tiny. hole. I went from a... <laughs> I went from a, a spinning tornado of nightmare flaming butterflies that were screaming to a mind flayers attacking my face to being in a room full of floating knives. <laughs> 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 this is not. This does not improve Dress's disposition. <laughs> I would very much like to be out of the room of knives. Okay, Skitter, how do we get him out? Um, well... Uh, you grab them and then you pull them, and you just hope oh, no, not too many of the daggers stick in. <laughs> can I, can I just will myself out? Yeah. Wait, dress, dress. Can you turn yourself so like into something to, small? I feel like the urge to not be in the same room has only grown from can, since the last time it worked. Can you okay. turn yourself into something palm sized so I can take you out without you getting stabbed? Well, I was already I was talking to Wander about the solution. Yeah. Oh. So, so are you like uh, just gonna burst trying out? to like swim out? Well, I'm. I'm. I have another trying idea. to very much to harness the same feeling of however I got oh, into oh, shoes. the other room. Okay, I, I have another idea. This won't work. Uh, is it gonna work? What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna cast Fine Steed. Uh, I already had a solution. Everyone's trying to do solutions. So Drez, once more, you are sucked through a dimension, what? kind of backwards <laughs> through the bag, the wrong way, and then out into reality. And once more, you feel Dr uh, Dimitri in your brain. Uh. It does help the screaming noise a bit. I just lay down face first. I quit. <laughs> Yeah, my noble chariot, you have returned once again to me. Ride onward, uh, excuse me. Ride onward, my friend. We must uh, enter glorious battle against things with which, uh, that with, uh, that want to flay our mind holes. <laughs> for the rest of you, Drez is face down starfishing it, and Dimitri is standing over him. With rain somehow. You're not sure where where they came from. <laughs> I am I'm willed to listen listen, but have almost no understanding of what's happening around me and everything is hell, so I literally transform into a war horse. Okay. Whoa. You guys see oh. this like weird <laughs> long legged lizard creature like spring up beneath <laughs> Dimitri. Oh wait, so he looks like a Kieran. That's awesome. Kind of. Kieran, it's like what would Kieran happen if you awesome unicorn. It, reptile horses. It, it's like if you looked at a horse, swapped out the word equine with reptile, and there you go. You're about to get requined. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Dimitri climbs on top of the, Enjoy uh, the, the war art. gator. <laughs> the war gator with a uh, reckless abandon. And right. now uh, somebody has to draw Dimitri the robot warforged on a <laughs> lizard war horse. <laughs> Oh my God. Kieran. Uh, Dres uh, Shell, that sounds like a good t good topic for a speed paint if you've got... Uh... Well, the thing is, I'm still in the process of making Dimitri's painting and having him like well, posing heroically with like an axe. Maybe and... you should back that one up and put him on a lizard steed. Oh, man. I don't know. All right. So you guys are not in uh, initiative, so you can do whatever you want. Because they're not... They're not able of cli uh, to climb out. It's like a 10, 15 foot drop. Uh, all right. I guess uh, having him as a war pony is probably not useful. <laughs> but it is funny. It is quite funny. Uh, well, I'm only going to get to do this once. Uh, Dimitri, Dimitri and uh, his mounts just like go like clip clopping about. Okay, so you do a... I assume you're doing a circuit around the room? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You now have That's control. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I, can't, I have, have no con control over Dres. No, now you there do. There we go. Just dragging right. around this catatonic creature. <laughs> so as you go around the room, you notice the mind, mind flares are following you. Oh, they all sort of... <laughs> That's whichever, really creepy. Whichever it's kind of like it. fluid physics. I'd, I'd, I'd move them, but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's really uncomfortable. All right. Uh, I look really around the room. We have, um, we have like, uh, th 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 there's like equipment and stuff around the room, right? Yes. There's there's like training swords, some real swords. Javelins? Uh, like practice armor. Uh, you see some lances. All right. I, I start grabbing some of the lances down and... Uh, just like Dimitri can't whistle, but he can like blow exhaust through various ports. So it's just like. <laughs> it's more like hissing. Are you going to chuck the lances yeah. down into them? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yes. Yeah. He's not, he's not pneumatic. I mean. Yeah. Wait, yeah. is he? I don't S know. Sorry, I was thinking you said Drez. Oh, no, no, uh, no. <laughs> Because I wasn't paying attention. I thought you were saying yes. that like you were having Drez like Winnie or something and you were going to like charge no, no, no. something. Uh, my brain I, how, many, how many lances can I get? Isn't this like playing fish uh, in a barrel? Yes, it's exactly like playing fish in the barrel. Although, is that... Wait, is that an expression <laughs> offensive to you? Is that racist? <laughs> yeah. You Am find I okay it, to say that? It, I, I don't really think it's, it's much for sport, considering you're not actually, you know, hunting them down properly. I mean, it's we have to hunt down the light. Prison? <laughs> are you are you saboteuring this mind flare hunt? What? I'm not sabotaging anything. I'm just observing. Uh, okay. I mean, I could. I I was thinking about summoning something. That'd be awesome. Okay. So you guys are uh, able to find two functional lances. Most of the rest of them look like they have been broken or are just unusable. All right. Uh, do I get any advantages for using a lance in mounted combat? Uh, in third edition, you uh, charging with a lance was ridiculous. I don't know about charging with I a don't... lance in. Uh... Oh, we're not charging, charging with them. We're so not much going down, them. man. Yeah. Okay. If that's the case, I'm just going to. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Okay, so you throw a lance into the pit. He uh, clatters uh, to the ground. Uh, second time's charm. No, it's not. Yeah. Well, you are now lanceless. So we're just, I get off of Duez. Are we just gonna like try and kill them from afar? Because we could do that. What do you think I was doing, Skitter? Okay. So Skitter is going to sit on the edge of the pit, dangling <laughs> his legs and just tucking his hammer every six seconds. Oh. Can uh, I try? Uh, sure. But you're not wearing the dwarven belt. Uh, Skitter hands you the hammer and you almost immediately just like clonk to the ground. Uh, never mind. This this doesn't look it's fun It's very after heavy. All. It's very uh, heavy. I just, I just saw this thing over here. It's not because I'm too weak to pick up the hammer. Skitter goes back to, uh, it, it almost looks cheery uh, as he's slowly <laughs> just braining them to death. I haven't used this before. I pull out the magician card. 
Okay. I'm going to slap it down next to me. I summon the Dark Magician. One oh second. Oh, God. I fairly or should I do my Yami Yuki up. voice? Oh. I summon Dark Magician. Of course okay. it was always Yami Yuki. Uh, always Koribo. Shell, can you pass me your uh, your spell deck? My spell Kori deck? Koribo will save yep. the day. Wait, just for my spells? Yep. It's time to do do do. All right. Oh, Jesus, this is a mess. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Shell, uh, you kind of feel yourself cast uh, Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians? How? Well, they're there. But it's for free? Uh no, Just like it feels it feels like you cast it, but you know it felt like it was you know it feels like a a cut above the rest maybe. How so? Are they are they dancing around me right now? Uh, let's see. I have to look this one up. Uh, let's see. That's the D and D wiki. None of this is useful. Can I have the card back? Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, so it is cast at a uh, at a fifth level spell. At a fifth level, wow. Yeah. So it's it's doing what five die eight now. And what's this radius? Uh, whatever the usual one is. It's uh, all it does is it casts it at a at two levels higher. Okay, so it increases by one die eight for each slot level above third. Yep. Wow. So currently it was three die eight. Okay, so that means it's just five die eight. Radiant damage. So you have that as your aura for now. Okay. Geronimo. <laughs> Oh my Wait, god. Wait, you're jumping in there? I mean, how else am I going to influence okay, them? Okay, no, you jump in there. Uh, roll for initiative. <laughs> oh no. Guys better back me up. That's a terrible idea. Why would anyone follow you? Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, they were ready. Yeah. Oh, they were ready. <laughs> they were waiting for a Lauren. But aren't they going to get zapped by yeah, all my so, radiant spirits? Yeah, uh, so roll damage. Now remind me what Spirit Guardians necessarily does. It I'm doing 5 die 8 radiant damage, and gonna... it does it every time when they enter and when they stay in my aura. Okay, so they, they, they're... they Okay, roll 5 die 8. They all take it. Is it I'm going to roll be based on one? horse initiative. Because what? of my spell stuff? What was that, oh, wow, that was... Am I going to give it a plus one for Yes, yeah, so you get a plus stuff? one. Yeah. There's about six of them. Okay. Oh, they have to take wisdom savings throws, but they're all mad, so they don't like have any wisdom, right? Yeah, they they have uh severely low wisdom. Why did you jump in? <laughs> Because otherwise the spell would be put to waste. This she, is she didn't think that like throwing them from the rim was very sportsmanly, and but, she wanted to give them a fair chance. Okay, of killing uh, the shit out of her. But they're sanity rending so, abominations. <laughs> yeah, they they all fail. A weird time for and honor. Skitter's been hitting them this entire time, which was what maybe about two rounds worth of hammer shots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're just calculating all the damage. Uh. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to see how many times Skitter hit them. So he hit one, two, and three, four. Do I still have this math? I guess he probably wasn't sneak attacking him because... All the calculations. It's, it's too much. <laughs> There's large groups of things that you just hit all at once, and I have to... Get it all together. 
Uh, let's see. So one, two, three. Okay. So Skidder had actually only managed to hit a couple of them. Uh, he hadn't been very uh, caring about hitting or he wasn't trying to sneak attack them or anything. Okay. So now you're in the pit. Uh, can everybody else roll initiative, by the way? I rolled did, a uh, 10 for D Greg and an 18 for Dimitri. Okay. And I rolled a horsey 11. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's Horses are less roll? dexterous than my character. Uh, you can roll Kahuna. He's a minus, uh, he's a minus three. Also, I'm large. <laughs> you are large. All right. Uh, Skitter's actually completely caught by surprise by this whole, by this whole. I yeah, I want to, I want to hear his reaction rolls. to this. Uh, you notice Plus he's three. kind of staring down with his hammer like cocked and ready. And he's, he didn't quite process that Alarin just flung herself into the pit. Uh. So he rolled a natural one. He is, uh, he was not <laughs> ready for this at all. Uh, and he is, I, I think he's trying to disbelieve it. Uh, but it's not working so hot. Um. Wait, was he a minus three or a plus three? Kahuna. A minus three. Oh, okay. Well, so he's he in the negative. He got less than zero. Yeah, he's he's a negative one, but that's still higher than a negative. He's that's still higher than a natural one. Okay. You are hit. Oh, twice. That's not so bad. You take 28 damage as they begin to uh, tear away at your face and Ew, head. Ew, no! Okay, one minute. 28? Didn't you want this? <laughs> well, I thought that... I thought that them being mad, they were going to get destroyed more easily. I mean, they're perfectly healthy uh, in body, but not in mind. Really? They're that fresh? They're pretty fresh. I mean, you they- thought you they... just casually one-shot six enemies? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was overestimating my spirit guardian's power. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's their turn. Uh, let's see. Dimitri, your friend just flung herself into the pit. <laughs> what do? Um. I have very little that I can contribute to this. Well, you can, I mean, you can take uh, Drez along with you. You can if... squash one of them under your, your metallic bulk. Yeah. Come on. So, uh... <laughs> how big do you think Dimitri is? I, I'm guessing he's about six and a half to seven feet tall. Yeah, he's right. My his... stallion. <laughs> okay, so you get to make uh, a drop attack. Both of you do. A drop attack. I don't know what that means. I, I, you get a full attack. So you, okay. you get, you get two. Because I mean, you're you're riding Drez into the pit. Uh, Drez, you're yep. gonna have to make an acrobatics to land well. <laughs> and Greg, I'm gonna need a handle animal check from you for uh Well Ooh. Yeah. I right. apparently just learned. Well, I guess you oh my god, that was what I was gonna hope would happen. That's what <laughs> okay. I hoped would happen. <laughs> so, so I land gracefully and perfectly and then he just like eats shit off. right off of me. Like just... yeah. <laughs> so somewhere in the, the fifteen foot drop, Drez uh in all of his acrobatic and and uh you know uh, skill and glory somehow manages to, to lose hold of his thighs from your this back. Is Dimitri, by the this way. Oh, sorry, Dimitri. I I yeah. get distracted. Um, I'm very hungry. <laughs> uh, but he kind of loses it, and like you kind of drift. Like this is this is a short fall, but he somehow manages to, uh, more or less eat shit on the ground below you, and then you daintily <laughs> land on top of him. <laughs> oh, no. Drez. Uh, not Drez. Uh, Dimitri, you take... <laughs> you take eight damage for crashing into the ground. Oh, I feel man. Like, I feel like for that kind of crit success, I should get to do a trampling charge on one of them. No, you you get to do whatever you want. You you have uh, you have a round and you have a bonus. 
to something. You have the sharpest of hooves. That means I do I Hoof do the claws. normal. It's it's the attack, but also they have to do a DC fourteen strength check, or they get knocked prone. Okay. Um. Or I could just miss. No, you it probably happen. My oh. players actually have shit shit for armor classes. Uh, comparatively. So you, uh, what's the DC? Uh, it's a DC 14. Uh, he succeeds. He resists, but oh. you, do, you do take a chunk out of him, so that would be if my the target became six. prone, I would get a bonus attack. <laughs> Let's see, so how much damage is that? Nine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Greg, it's your turn. Ah! All right. Roll an acrobatics check. <laughs> All right, you safely land and can get a full attack. All right, I thwack the guy one tile north of me. Okay. See, so you, you can keep and going. I thwack him again. All right. Oh yeah, and when my spirit guardians come up, they don't affect my allies. Yep. Or at okay. least I will them not to. Uh, Alarin, you're going to need to make two uh, int saves. Intelligence saves? Correct. Oh. Okay, you are stunned. Ah! Uh. The spirit guardians are going, though. Uh, you do not actually need to keep them concentrated while you use the magician card. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Kahuna's turn. Kahuna's. Blurp, blurp. He is going to leap in and envelop. Okay, like make a belly guys. flop roll. A belly flop roll? I yeah. What's that going to be? I uh, just just roll a die twenty. And I'll tell you what happens. Okay. It's acrobatics. All right, uh, Kahuna. <laughs> oh, he misses, so he just like lands here. Yeah, he's like over there, and more or less. You're all hit by, like, a splash of water as Kahuna pancakes out pretty much across the entire arena. Can he still attack, oh, or is man. that considered his attack? Uh, yeah, you can hit one of them. Okay. Kahuna uses splash. <laughs> it's if, not very effective. If, if he had actually rolled high, he could have actually hit multiple people, though that probably would have included either you or Greg, but whatever. Uh, so he... Oh, that sorry. That's not the attack. Yeah, roll. that's the damage. Okay, so it's a one die twenty. What, what plus would, six? Plus six. He's pretty good at this. It's mostly just big. Ah! All right, Kahuna just keeps pancaking out. <laughs> he he splats on. He's the He's going to take a round to to recover himself here. I guess Skitter, seeing as he is no longer a. a uh, active participant in the battle is going to ace one of them in the face from on high. Uh, let's see, which one would he be going for? Probably one of the ones on yeah, me, right? Yeah. So that would be three. Okay, and he successfully dislodges it from you. When you made this room, were you anticipating that we would just jump in on purpose? <laughs> no. No. And, uh, in fact, uh, make a perception check. Horse mm -hmm. Drez. Horse Drez? <laughs> I mean, he is, a, he is horse. He is horse Drez. Yep. All right. You don't see it. <laughs> there is uh, still an Oni. Yeah. He's somewhere. We, we don't have, know we where. We still have a made. sentient opponent. In the yeah. environment, and we're like, let's fight the things that are can't fight back. All right, uh, let's see. Now it's gonna become a brawl. <laughs> oh, God. Well, remember they all get damaged again. <laughs> yes. So roll roll uh, five d eight plus one. Mm -hmm. If I was thinking right now, I'd be very mad about being back in this hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh my God, you're right. You. Like, what's you that? He barely so survived. Let's get out put him back hole. in. Bwahaha. All so of my hard. enemies will take 31 damage. Bwahaha. Okay, see. Now it's starting to pay dividends. Uh, so, see, number three dies. Number four dies. 
and you guys are left with two. So wait, you mean four? Yeah, sorry, sorry, four. Uh, two, two are removed. You are left with four, and they are going to see. Two are going to keep going for a Lauren, and I guess. But if I'm stunned, doesn't doesn't that mean I'm going to get outright killed? Drez and Greg. No, uh, your brain is only extracted if you fall below H, uh, zero HP. All right, so one, two. Uh, <laughs> okay. Your brain is extracted. Extracted. The word choice. One, two. All right, so every single one of you guys are hit for uh, so Alarn, you hit for twelve. Drez, you hit for nineteen. And Greg, you're hit for 15. And all of you have to make int saves. Oh, those are the worst. I am no longer nice a horse. Way. Okay, that looks pretty okay, good. Okay, so Lauren, you you regain your proper locomotion. Uh, ouch. My head hurts. And uh, what would... A, you know what? Uh, here, I'm going to rotate him upside down. He gets his tentacles in a knot and can no longer. He'll have to claw you. <laughs> oh, that's the natural one. Yeah, he got the natural one. I'm like, what you, What happens when you nat one to try and uh, bore into somebody's skull? Okay, uh, let's see. You bore into their shoulder. Yeah, Dimitri, it's your turn. Dimitri? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, dude, two characters, man. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, well, I, I see this gentleman right here. I guess uh, I stand up. Uh, does that take an action or am I, or that's a move? Yeah. Okay. This isn't divinity. Uh, and a tick. Ooh, oh, no. roll a die hundred. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay, what does this one right. do? What does this one do? Don't don't let, I, I wanna read it. I wanna read it first. Uh oh, this is great. Okay. Alright. Roll everybody make deck saves. Oh great. Uh great. A hundred and fifty feet? Twenty foot radius. Oh no. Oh no, this is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> Uh, I thought this was going to be great. This is going to be horrible. What happens? Have you ever been hit oh, by a no. fire fireball? What? It's the goddamn fireball again. <laughs> so the pit explodes. 20-foot oh. uh, uh, radius. Yeah, 20-foot radius. So all of you guys explode. Roll damage, bird. Oh, no. I'm going to um, die. And if I remember right, yeah, you're all you're all within uh, the radius. So, Lauren, you actually managed to dodge the fireball. Wait, what? How? Well, Did not I get... dodge it, but you get half damage. Uh, That's you not you have gonna... a seventeen because you have the three from uh, being in Dimitri's aura protection. But that does, that won't help. I'm dead. No, you're there... probably unconscious. How much damage did you take earlier? There's a very cooked, kind of insane, unconscious lizard. <laughs> I, I am. So I only had six HP after the mind flayers got to me this okay. last round. So oh, yeah, yeah, you're down. Both, both you and Drez are down. Um, does the does the spirits at least still flit around me, or I'm out there? Uh, no, spirits no, are gone. Yeah, they they even they can't uh, maintain through that. And one, two, three, four. They all die. Every single mind flayer. I <laughs> uh, I mean, you got you've got calamari and two unconscious party members. Alrighty, yeah. and you're twenty-nine. Uh, okay, so this is unlikely to improve Drez's disposition. <laughs> <laughs> Drez will remember like... this. Yeah, I feel like that's just the version of Drez will remember. <laughs> Drez will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we're still not even done with fighting because there's still one guy. Oh no! no all of the mind flares are gone. You were you were done yeah. with fighting. But I mean, there's still the right sentient now. dude. 
Well, we don't know where he yeah. is. Or there he's there are some amount of... The, the wall of butterflies are still going because you haven't spent enough time to get them to go. And you have no idea what happened to the Ogre Mage. Um, so... No. Kahuna's okay. upset. You have two casualties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Greg is at... Now that uh, I think about on. it, I, I was just okay. thinking about aquatic resuscitation, but how do tritons work if they can breathe both in what They must filter out the oxygen. Probably. But they could do the calculations you... for me. I got distracted. <laughs> how many healing potions do you have, Shell? Me? I have one large healing potion, and that is... It. Okay, Skitter is dumping that on your face. Actually, I have seven smaller ones, too. Okay, he's starting with the... No, he's going to go with the small what? ones, probably. He's going to, like, chuck three of them at you. Okay, one, two, three. So what's his so, roll? So, uh, what is that? Six die four plus one? Was it two die four plus one or two die four plus two? It was two die... Uh, I think it's... Two die four plus two. two. Yeah, so six die four plus six. All right, you're up to 20. Okay, that's better than nothing. Uh, and... Oh, uh, what just... What just happened? I... Where did the fire come from? Do you really have to ask? I suppose I sh I don't need to. Yeah. It's it's the axe, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Uh... Thing goes off like two to three times an episode now, it feels like. <laughs> yeah, it keeps things spicy. Wait, what's this an episode? Uh, eh, it's uh, how goblins tell time sometimes. Okay, and then what about Understood. Drez? Well, yeah. does Drez have healing potions? <laughs> Go Creative rummaging through solutions. his pockets. Uh, Drez, <laughs> how many healing potions do you have and of what varieties? My inventory is a mess and I don't know what some of the things mean anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is an issue at this point. Because Skitter uh, doesn't have, have any healing potions. He is entirely reliant on you guys for healing. As far as I can tell, I have seven small potions of healing. Five large potions of healing plus is what Okay, I so you get you also get 20 HP as Skitter just dumps three of the healing potions. I also potions have on an you. entry that literally says a shit ton of poison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do you do in fact have a shit ton of poison. I, I think it was like ten kill, vials. I have Dread of... Kill Hall's keys still. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably have you can probably three, delete those. I have a small vibrant potion and three medium vibrant potions. Now, how tall are these walls? Uh, fifteen feet. Okay. Uh, I will smack down the tower card. Poof. All right. So you have. Uh, well, uh, we have to we have to call this here. Yeah. I can think. we at least get out of the pit? Yeah. Okay. You can get out of the pit. I assume all of you probably want a long rest. Well, uh, mm -hmm. no, we still have to hunt down the Oni. There's he's... no time for rest. We must this kill the Gorlon. Like, this is a really to... unsafe context for resting when there's some kind of invisible foe True. nearby, probably. You're right. But... Uh, make a perception check, all of you. You're okay. close enough to it. Perception. I don't think Drez okay. is going to get up to take a perception check. So, uh, Alarin, you mm -hmm. rolled high enough. You can hear uh, ogres shouting to the north of you. Uh, guys, we we probably don't want to go through this door immediately. Or, actually, wait, if they're shouting, does that mean they already know what's happening no, here? No, it sounds like they're busy. Uh... Ah! Sorry about that. Whoop, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I lost track a little bit. Did a, he did a heal happen to me? Yes. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, you got 20. Sk Skitter is dumping potions on your face. Okay, uh, let's see. So you guys, uh, yeah, Alarin can hear ogres shouting, and it, it sounds like something's happening. You're not really sure what's what's going on, but it doesn't look like they're coming for you. Guys... There's definitely a number of ogres up there, but I don't think they're aware of us quite yet. Uh, how could they not be? We certainly caused quite a ruckus with making the explosion in the pit. Uh, 
Maybe they're contending with something else. Oh, what could be worse than us? I don't know. Wasn't Gorlar tending to some kind of portals, or what did what did your friend say, Greg? What, what was he doing? Uh, I didn't really ask him. Gorlar doesn't really like to talk about his business anyway. Kind of a need-to-know basis, and he's the only one who ever needs to know anything. Mm-hmm. Well, if I remember, uh, I didn't actually ask about that, right? At least... Uh, not really. They just said he was yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Well, I know enough about Gorlar to know that that would be the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't hear those voices in our head, and the pit is squeaky clean. I look as there's, like, charred corpses and <laughs> just debris everywhere. Yeah. yeah Barbecue, somebody club madness. has silver linings. And every party member still has their brains intact. It's a bit of a surprise, honestly. I thought one of them was going to be, well, uh, let's say, uh, permanently, uh, brain dead. Or brain snack. I don't know. Anyway, I honestly was expecting things were going to go a lot worse when they already were going pretty badly. Now, uh, they've, they've cleared the pit of mind flares, uh, in the most unorthodox way I thought, and, uh, well unorthodox way they could have, and uh, now they're on to the final stretch before whatever awaits them above. What is it? Well, I guess you'll just have to find out on the next episode of Dungeons & Dragons, Grave of Man.